Welcome to another unit in this VBA course. This time I'm going to talk about how I can use VBA to create a new item in my menu bar. Well, why I would be interested in doing something like this? Well, maybe I generated a new add-in and I want this add-in to always be available via the menu so that someone doesn't actually have to go to data, to the macros, select one of the macros, stuff like this. Oh, sorry, not data developer, macros, select one of the macros, does stuff like this, but has a specific nice looking menu all on his own. Well, we're going to use here, we'll learn about the very easy version. So treat this like an add-in. So we're basically putting this here into this add-in part. And well, if I want to do something like this, I start with generating three objects. The one I call menu bar, the other one menu object, the other command. And they are more or less exactly this. So the first one, here I'm going to use set if I define them because they are objects. They're not variables, they're objects. So with objects, I always have to use set. So here I set the menu bar equal to the active menu bar. So basically what I have up here. So he copies more or less my Excel menu bar or more or less copies, mirrors it because changes here to this menu bar are changes to that one or rather here to the sub menu in add-ins. Then I have to set my new menu object as a new one to this menu bar. So I add a new one to this. What do I add? Here I used control pop-ups. So I got a pop-up menu here, pop-up menu. So point like this, which is a pop-up where I can select different options. Which options? Well, before I get there, I first have to give this menu object a name or rather a caption. And that's what I'm going to do here. So here I'm naming what I just added to my menu bar. Then, as I said, I need to define which are the options of this pop-up menu. So here I'm just going to use one. And that's my command one. So here I say to this menu object, so to this pop-up, add a new control button. So basically add a new option which I can click so that something happens. Again, as with before, after I defined this as this one exists, this is added to my menu object, I need to give it a name that's here via the caption. So I'm calling this new command. And finally, well, I need to define what happens if I click on this command button. And that's the last one here, that's for the command one, the on action. On action means what happens if I click on this button. And here, well, this looks strange. This looks like just hello, but this actually means call the function hello down here. It's a bit strange because these marks usually I use when I use text. Here in this case, I need to do this for the name of a function as well. So if I want to call this function hello, put this here, this marks. Well, this function hello does nothing else than just show a message box with hello. Okay, so this works perfectly fine. So in this case, if I just run this, well, nothing happened. You might think nothing happens. If I switch to Excel, go to add-ins, here I see I have a new menu object. If I open this, pull down or here, um, drop down menu, I have a new command. And if I click on this new command, I get a message box with hello. So I could add different other objects here as well. I could add buttons here as well. So I basically can configure my new menu here at this point. Could even give this part here a new name. Okay, so much for how can I add this? But it would still be quite tedious to always run this starting procedure every time on my own. So open the file, have to start some macros, select this macro, run this. So would be a bit easier to just have Excel 
execute this automatically at each start of the file. And I can do this if I just go to this workbook. And here, use one of the workbook handlers. That's where I up here selected instead of general, the workbook, and on the right, open. This is the workbook handler, workbook open. Talk a little bit about this in a previous um, unit. If I use this, this is what is executed once the workbook is opened. And well, here I want him to use this subroutine start, which I just programmed in my module. However, start is in this module. Now I'm here in this workbook. So if I want to refer to the part which is here in the module, I need to use call. So call means take a look at the module, find the function start, execute the function start. The function start just adds here to my add-in menu my corresponding new menu object, which if I click this gives me this me hello message. And well, that's all there is I wanted to mention in this short introduction, because this already helps us to understand the main dynamics behind this and helps us to understand how we can insert different macros, different command parts into our menu bar. So more or less make them easily available via the Excel menu directly. Well, as I said, that's all there is. So I hope you enjoyed listening. And if you want to see additional units, feel free to visit the rest of the course or have a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.